if you guys want to dominate in your high tier medium tanks, even ones that are less powerful like the Revleries and the Patton, stick around to get scores like this because I've kind of found out the secret to just absolutely hosing in these tanks. Hey guys, um, just so many good things about this replay, so why don't we just get into it. This is going to give you a good idea of how to play just games and underpowered tanks in situations that look poor, so let's get right into it. Um, for starters, this is mine, so naturally my teammates are going to start talking at the beginning of the game about rushing hill. That works well for the Leopard, for the, uh, you know, for the... Uh, CS53 on our team uh, doesn't work well for me, right? Like, that's not going to work out for me. So I am going to go the one line here and try to see how I can impact the game. Um, tank's got good gun depression, great gun handling. It should work out well. I'm taking extra view range here so that I can try to spot out tank destroyers in the back of the map and so that I can try to spot out if I need to fall back here. Um, so let's get into it. Let's push up. Looking around me right now... Um, I'm seeing what type of support I have. I have the STRV with me. Thank you, God. Um, he's going to be pretty monumental in this game. Really need his help, so it's good that I have him. Um, and it looks like I have the guard behind me. Uh, I'm going to spot out the Scorpion G um, way before he can spot me, so that's good. Uh, I'm still undetected here. And I'm just going to play safe. I, I see that a lot of tanks are going hill, as per usual. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So I'm going to push up here. I got the Scorpion G spotted. Um, for my teammates, I think there's a shot, but I, it's a pixel either way, so I'm probably not going to be taking that. They have an enemy in the base, uh, it looks like our IS-22 is pushing up there, and the Scorpion G is going to push up, give us a nice shot. I probably could have intuition switched there, um, and gotten a couple extra damage, but we'll, we'll take the shot that we can get there. I couldn't have known that I would have had extra time. Um, so we get uh, the shutdown from our T-95, and we're going to push up here. We're going to push up just to see what we have. We, we have the Indian Panzer on the side, and our guard's pushing up with us. I'd hate to leave that Indian Panzer's HP on the table. And our guard sees effectively a death sentence for us on the top of this hill. We have a T-30 and a second T-30. One looks like he has the stock turret, or the other one has improved hardening. They have different HP, so... Uh, I'm going to take the take the hint right now and just fall back. The Skoda's pushing up there. Uh, it's just never going to work out, right? Like, our guard just gets absolutely swallowed here. So I'm going to push back while I can. I have my STRV behind me. I'm telling him to, you know, give me a look here. Give me some give me some help. And I think he's going to. So I'm going to push up. I now know that there's four tanks up there, right? There's the T-30, the Skoda, the Indian Panzer. Um, and I think I can get a shot out on the side of the T-30. Nice little free 400 damage there and some extra spotting. Um, but now i got to really play per pixel perfect here um, if I want to actually survive. So I'm going to remain unspotted here, see if there's a little shot out on the, SV uh, the SMV. Um, doesn't look like it. I want to just spot the T-30 and fall back here. Spot him for my teammate and fall back. I know I have artillery support here, so if I can get him spotted, it's going to bode well for me. Um, I also know, however, that this Skoda is likely in this bush here, um, so I'd hate to push up too far around the corner here, um, or else it's going to get me killed. Um, you know, this corner looks enticing to try and spot somebody pushing back around the, uh, around the back side here, but I know the Skoda is going to kill me if I do that. Um, so I'm just going to take my time. Uh, if I can spot the T-30s and get my artillery involved, it, it looks good for me. So I'm going to look out just a little bit. And I'm going to six Sense spot that bush. So I know now that the Skoda is in that bush because my six Sense uh, six Sense lit off. I'm going to ping the bush and tell my STRV and my T-103 blind fire the bush and let's see what happens. Shot comes in. And two shells ring out nice from my, uh, from my STRV. Just no explosion, second shot, no explosion, and the Skoda's one hit. STRV shuts him down. Great play there by my STRV listening to me. Um, just great stuff overall. I spot the second T-30. I'm hoping artillery can hit him. That's a really easy shot for the artillery. Um, maybe he's just readjusting to him, so we'll see. We'll try to spot him again. We get him lit up a second time. Um, and the first T-30, we get him lit up. So let's see. We're going to need artillery support if we want to win this at all. Looks like our artillery is aiming elsewhere. So let's just see if we can keep them lit up. I know the T-30 is staring me at, uh, in the face, but if I can keep two Tier 9 tank destroyers tied up for my team while they're trying to take hill and defend the base, that'll do well for my team. Um, I get the T-30 spotted a second time. I can see that he's staring at me from his outline. And there goes some artillery fire. 
now we're starting to get some work done on the T30. Extra spotting. We're sitting on a, about 1,300 combined damage here in a game that probably should have gotten me killed in the first two minutes, just like that guard. Um, and I'm going to spot out the T30 again. Fall back again. Give my arty some time to uh, lock in on him. Here comes the second shot, and boom. We're now sitting on, uh, on 1,450 combined. A uh, nice little 200 damage every time I'm spotting, spotting that T30. And I'm going to assume that the T30 is uh, is not going to continue holding that position. Uh, after 400 damage from the artillery, I think that's probably a pretty bad idea for the kid to do. Um, now, I think the T30's falling back, so let's see. We have one T30 behind the rock here. He's no threat to the uh, to the valley. And we have a second T30 who's probably falling back. So I'm thinking about taking this bush soon and seeing what I can do uh, spotting some retreating tanks going back across this side here. Um, I no longer spot that T-30 in that spot, so I know he's fallen back. So let me see if I can push out and find, uh, and find a shot on retreating tanks across the valley. So here we go. I'm getting comfortable, no sixth sense activation. Um, I'm gonna push up, take the bush, and let's see what there is to see. We got the Indian Panzer in our sights, so we're gonna fall back take a shot at him for sure he's trying to wiggle on us and a tough shot goes into the tracks but we get some assistance damage on it um i'm gonna push up here to respot since he's uh he's unspotted but he's outside of my spotting range so i know that my reload time's not fast enough so i'm gonna lead where he would have been a little bit after fixing the tracks take the blind shot really nice shot there um now we spot the T-30 out, um, or excuse me, somebody else spots the T-30, he's outside of my spotting range. But I'm definitely going to take that shot into him, miss it, unfortunate, really unfortunate miss there. That would have been super appreciated in the end score. The Kunza Panzer's looking at me, uh, that's not looking good for me, so I'm going to just fall back again. And I see that the T-30 is now up top, um, he's on almost full HP and that looks like a free shot that I can get into him. I get some spotting on the Kunza Panzer and put a shot into the side of the T-30 with heat. Um, nice little free 400 damage. We're now sitting on 2,500 combined, again, in a game that probably looked like I was, uh, looking for, you know, six, 700 combined damage. Um, the T-30's now a one hit, and I have some hit points to trade, so I'm thinking, you know, I have 15 seconds here. Why don't I push up and see if he gives me any of that hole? He's looking like he's dancing, he's dancing, and I get the shot into the hole. Great stuff there. And, uh... You know, really not much else for me to pick up throughout this game. I think uh, maybe a shot on the T-30, maybe a shot on the WZ, but given what I was, you know, given at the beginning of the game, I'm really happy with how this played out, and my team gets a comfortable victory at the end of it. You know, you can be fooled looking at this game saying 11-3, to it's a stomping, but, you know, if we look at, you know, if we go back to the beginning of this game, this is a 2-2 game where we're at uh, a base pressure deficit, and... We, uh, we're at a hit point deficit by a substantial margin, so taking this hill really let us uh, cement a hold on, on the, uh, the mid-hill here, because if the T-30s push through take out the STRV, they have shots from the back and we lose hill. Um, holding this flank really allowed our team to get a win here, and that's part of the reason why I'm sitting on you know close to a 60-60 plus percent win ratio right now, is because you just have to think about how you can impact the game and stay alive throughout the, uh, throughout the next 15 minutes. If you can think about just impacting the game and staying alive for as long as you can, keeping your gun, keeping your vision in the game, you're going to be able to dominate uh, most of your matchups and win the vast majority of your games.